Hello, Professor. We're back Hello again. Hello again. Oh, I'm just um, in the process of looking through some of the artefacts from the uh, battlefield at Hastings, Senlac Ridge, yes. the Lake of Blood. Yes. You can see I've brought some arrows back and yes. some arrow heads, different sorts. There's so many different sorts from that period. These are some for cutting ropes and you see that one's quite a chisel ended one. Oh it is, isn't it? And I didn't realise that there were so many so different many. These shaped are for cutting the tips. ropes of shipping. And these are broad heads for killing deer. And these are long pointed ones, these sort here yes. for instance, for um piercing armour and ring mail. Ooh, you can right. see ring mail on the uh, bio tapestry. Yes. Um but um but these are for killing men. To kill a, a horse, you have to do a massive amount of damage. Mm. So you need broad-headed ones. And you can see horses flying through the air. You can, the, I, uh, I, that's right, you can on the tapestry. Yeah. Yes. But uh, they, they've been hit with axes and maces and all sorts. And the riders are flying through the air as well. And you see headless riders laying all over the ground. But... The, really, the the arrow was the queen of the battlefield in the, yes. in the eleventh century, and uh, due to become even more so in the twelfth and thirteenth. Yes, century, of course, it really developed, didn't the it? The great battles like Cressy and Agincourt. Of course, yes. But um, King Harold Godwinson, the last English king of the English, was killed that day on the fourteenth of October, ten sixty six, when an arrow hit him in the eye. Mm. It's got a sting in the morning, don't you think? Not good. It's going to be tough to get happy after that. No, not good, not and, good. Um, so you can see that happening on the uh, on the battlefield, um, on the bio tapestry. Yes. And these are the sort of things that did the damage. My own shooting of arrows, I can shoot one arrow every three seconds. Mm. I'm, I'm not brilliant at it. Our ancestors were better than me. I've only been doing this since I was, uh, I don't know, a kid. Hmm. Um, but um, It was the but, practicing, but, wasn't yeah, it, that they, they, they did it all the time? Yeah. I've been doing it for fun. They did it as a way of feeding themselves yes. and keeping law and order. Of course. And uh, instead of playing golf and wasting the time with football... <laughs> <laughs> they shot arrows from a bow and they went doing yes. what they call roving, mm. which I think ought to be brought back. What a great sport. A gang of young Saxon lads <laughs> wandering across the countryside <laughs> with bows and 20 or 30 arrows in a quiver, yes. shooting and terrifying the whole neighbourhood. <laughs> great. Yeah, I want to go roving. You want to go roving. It's always been my rule, I am. <laughs> Um, but, you know, these oh. are some of the things then. Mm. We'll have a look in more detail at other things in a while, but bows and arrows, you know, uh, they go 150 yards, 100 yards. Yes. And uh, they said at any given moment of the battle, there could have been five or six tonnes of arrows in the air. That would have been like a big black cloud, would not it? Terrific, yeah, Gosh. absolutely tremendous. Yes. Um, watch out, you know, <laughs> and they hadn't got any goggles on. They hadn't got any goggles. They yep. had a, a nose bar in front of their nose. Yes. And Harold Godwinson looked up. Fuck! Then what is the chances? Well, there what you are. What are the chances? It's just the That's way that... That's the miseries and maladies of the battle. That's the gods. C'est la guerre, as a Norman French said, yes, I suppose. Yes, absolutely. It's the That's way the fates fall, isn't the it? The fickle really? finger of footling fate. Fate. Yes. Yes. Okay, Professor. And on that happy note... Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Bye.